Hello everyone! Hello Traders Empire! Kamusta? Gumawa po ako ng short video para po sa inyong lahat, uh, para sa mga nagtatanong about investing, about stock market. Gusto ko pong i-share sa inyo itong ginawa ko dati na investment strategy. So kung meron po kayong Traders Empire book, you can see it here, page 25. Nandito po siya sa libro. Kasi yung chapter... Yung first chapter ng libro is about uh, beginning, about sa mga gusto palang magsimula, about sa mga uh, basic question na tinatanong kapag nagsisimula ka palang sa stock market, stock investing. Okay. Sa ibang bansa, sample sa US, sa Taiwan, sa ibang bansa, 80%, 90% of their population is nag-i-invest. Given na alam nila, dapat marunong silang mag-invest. Yung pera nila, merong part doon na for investing. Sa atin sa Pilipinas, 1 to 2% of population, Philippine population, ang nag-i-invest. So, wala pa sa 10%. <laughs> That's why we have this uh, mission to share by doing this. Sana marami tayong na reach out. Okay? Kung gusto nyo pong mag-stock market, you can open your account. Kung gusto nyo mag-invest sa CEO Financial, Purse Metrosec, um, Pill Stocks, Unicap, uh, marami, maraming sa mga banko. Pag pumunta kayo ng Metro Bank, sabihin nyo gusto nyo mag-open ng uh, pang-investment, pang-stock market, personal ano nyo na account sa stock investing, then magpipil up kayo, may sasabihin sila sa inyo, ganun. Pag Metro Bank is first Metro, sa BPI meron din, sa BDO meron din. Pero ang gamit ko po, personally, is COL Financial. Okay? So, maraming pa po. You can search and open your account. Ngayon, ang pag-open is 1,000 na lang. Dati is 5K. But I suggest na, Mag-start, ano, mag-stimula lang kayo, mag-open kayo, then start with 25 at least, 25K. 5K, 25K, uh, tapos mag-aral po kayo. At least makita nyo muna yung platform or yung trading platform na gagamitin nyo. Parang Facebook lang yun. Na hanap-hanapin nyo, pindot-pindotin nyo, explore nyo lang po siya, explore nyo lang. Okay, going back to this. Sorry kung napahaba. <laughs> Para sa mga... Gustong mag-invest sa stock market, gustong pumasok, meron tayong iba't ibang strategy. Okay? Open your book to page Traders Empire Book 25 to 26. Sa so, so stock market, sabi nga dito, lahat ng investor at trader na gustong mag-stock, kailangan may plano, may strategy na gagamitin pag nag invest kapag bumibili ng stocks. What is the meaning of strategy? This is your investing plan on how you will buy and sell your stock. So, meron tayong tatlo, ah. Buy and hold, PCA, which also means peso cost averaging, peso cost averaging, and the market timing. Buy and hold, ito yung mga long-term plan, PCA, pwede yan sa mid, mid-term, ganyan. Market timing, ito yung mga trader. Okay. So, kapag bago po kayo, wag nyo pong i-goal or wag nyo munang i-aim na mag-trader kayo, mag-market timing kayo. Unang-una, aralin nyo muna yung trading platform nyo. Tingnan nyo muna kung ano yung mga stocks. Unang-una, yung blue chips. Kung i-turn nyo yung libro nyo sa page, meron ako sinulat dito. Saan ba yun? Page. Ito. Page 20, sa page 20 ng Traders Empire Book, makikita nyo rito na yung si Juan de la Cruz, which is, I mean, is the Pinoy, Filipino. Then, uh, meron siyang middleman or the broker where he can buy, uh, where he can do his buying and selling by using the platform, the broker. Then, stock market, yun yung parang palengke kung saan ka bibili ng stock. Doon, available ang mga stocks. Blue chips, growth stock, and penny stock. Penny stock, ito yung mga... 10B, pababa ang market cap capitalization. Blue chips, 30 lang yan. 30 lang sila na present din dito. Nandito naman sa page 27. Okay. 
So, going back to investment strategy. Kung may mga tanong po kayo, pwede nyo ilagay sa comment. Pag nabasa ko, then sasagutin ko po. <laughs> so, okay. Kapag nakapag-open na kayo ng account, naaral nyo na yung or na-explore nyo na yung trading platform, then gagaw. Kaila, uh, mag arrive tayo sa ating strategy. Kailangan din natin ma-identify kung in times, kung talagang in investor kayo or for trading kayo. I identity ang tawag doon. Kasi importante yon para sa inyong investment. Investment goal. Kailangan meron kang knowledge, then level of interest, kung ano lifestyle mo, personality, at kung may oras ka ba. Time. That is important. Kaya ako nag-arrive dito sa table na to. So, buy and hold sa long-term goal. And 10 years or more. PCA, ito yung nag ba sila regular, monthly, quarterly, annually, nagdadagdag sila ng stocks nila. Halimbawa, halimbawa lang ha, Jollibee, bumili sila ngayong week na to. Pwede sila uling bumili next week. Dagdag lang sila ng dagdag. And yung market timing, ano naman yung time na ano niya, horizon niya. Ito yung buy and sell very often, daily, weekly. So, madalas to na actually araw-araw present yung mga to sa market. <laughs> At ang buy and hold, sometimes they buy then forget, ignoring news, naglalagay sila ng malaking pera about sa stocks na inaral nila na good funda, good management, good business. Okay, tapos, Hindi na nila pinapansin kung ano-anong mga news yan. Ay, isa sa halimbawa ng magagandang company nito is yung SMPH. SMPH. Before kasi wala pa yung 20 dati. 9 pesos, I think. Tapos, magkano na ngayon? Mabot yun ng 40. Tapos, uh, JFC. Before, wala. Ay, yung talagang dati, kung matagal ka na nag-invest, dati wala pa tong 20. Tapos, umabot ng 300 pesos. Yun yung magaganda sa long term. Kasi, uh, yung makita mo na promising yung business. But, sa, dito nga sa, kahit ano naman sa business, investing, meron pa rin kasamang risk. Okay, lahat naman yan, hindi nawawala ang risk. Kahit naman sa trabaho nyo, may kasama ding risk. Right? Lahat po yan. Sa PCA, meron silang tinatawag na, Buy on, buying on a buy below price. Kunyari, uh, 20 pesos yung stocks. So, no buying above 20 pesos. It means, below 20 pesos, dun lang sila nag-iipon. Ganon. Tapos, sell, sell at fair value value or target price. Okay. Kung ano yung target nila, halimbawa, buy below 20 pesos, ang target natin is 50 pesos, dun natin ibibenta. Ganon sila. Tapos nagdadagdag sila lagi. Oh, ayos lang yan. Monthly, quarterly, annually. Kahit hindi ka bumili araw-araw. Ayos lang. So, buy your support. How about sa market timing? It needs to study technical analysis. Dito sa market timing, maraming pag-aaral na ginagawa. Needs, need to study technicals to timing the buy and sell, the entry and exit. Risk, of course, always present. Medium, medium, and this is high risk market timing. Pero marami rito, marami nagma-market timing. Gives peace of mind while investing. The same. Uh, yung kalmado lang sila, I mean. Okay? Hindi sila nai-stress. Cool, chill lang sila. Okay. But, uh, so market timing, high and low of emotions. Yung emotional roller coaster, stressful anxiety. Yun yung mga feelings, pakiramdam. Kasi, alam mo yun la, pag lagi kang naglalaro or nagtitrades, taas baba yung stocks, ganun. How about the profit? It depends on companies, performance, growth, and expansion. Same. Okay. And how about sa market timing? Kaya, bakit kaya maraming interesado sa pag-trade or sa pag-market timing? Because it offers high potential of return. Totoo to, na kung meron kang sapat na pera, capital, at marunong ka, talagang malaki kikitain mo. You can gain not only profit, but if you have the skills, you can have fortune. 
not only profit. Offer high potential of return if you have the skills. And biggest, remember that, biggest potential loss if zero or lack of knowledge. Pag marunong ka, malaki kita. Pag di ka marunong, kakainin ka ng market. That is 101% sure. So, how can you have the skills? So, kailangan mong mag-aral. Yung aarali mo, write, the, write knowledge, then master that to, so it can become your skill. Kapag nag-invest kayo, nag-stock kayo, nag-trading kayo, wag po kayong, uh, wag yung i-aim or i-target agad yung, ah, gusto kong itong pera na to. Gusto ko itong makuha ko. Puro pera, pera. So, Kailangan, unang-una, mag-focus tayo sa kung ano ba yung mga knowledge na dapat nating ma-possess. Kung da ano yung knowledge na dapat meron tayo. Kapag yung right knowledge na yon ipapractice natin, aaralin natin, gagamitin natin with execution and action para maging skills. Because if that knowledge is not right, it cannot become your skill. Then, if you have the skill, money will surely follow. Dun palang darating yung profit, yung kita, kung meron kang skills. That's why marami nagmamarket timing, marami nag-aaral nito because sa stock market, napakadaming pera. Mayayamang tao, politician, churches, SSS, uh, mga insurance, mutual fund, at kung ano-ano pang sa ngayon na ng government, nandito sila sa stock market. Nandito lahat. nag invest nag-trade. Company, Jollibee, SM, PLDT. Nandito lahat. Okay. So, that is the investment strategy. So, pipili ka. So, sabi ni Gillian, ganito kung isa sum up ko, mag-open muna daw ako ng account. Pwede daw 1,000, 5,000, or 25K. At least mag-open ng account. Why? Para matignan ko yung, ano, matignan ko yung trading platform ko, ma-explore ko kung paano ba yun gumagana. Sabi niya, parang Facebook lang daw yun. May sign-in, pwede kang mag-sign out. May mga different tab. Haralin mo lang muna yun. At least mag-open ka. Then, you should have the strategy. Sa una, hindi mo pasigurado kung long-term goal ka talaga. But at least, have a strategy. Buy and hold, PCA, market timing. Okay, so, hindi ko pasigurado kung gusto kong mag-trade because this is high risk. High and lows of emotions. Ayoko muna siguro doon. So, dapat tignan natin kung ano yung mga blue chips. 30 stocks, blue chips. Yung mga gandang company ito. Malilaking company sa Pilipinas. Ayala, Aboytis. Alliance Global, Aboytis Power, BDO, Bank BPI, First Gen, Globe Telecom, GTCAP, ICT, JFC, LTG, Metropolitan Bank, Mega World, Meralco, MPI, Robinson, SECs. So, marami to. PLDT, marami sila. 30 stocks yun. So, yun na yung sabi ni Gillian. Isa-isahin ko po. Ano po? Isulat nyo kung ano yung mga dapat nyong aralin. Nakuha nyo po ba yung meaning ko? Dapat pala sinulat ko, no? So, paano ba natin isulat? Okay. Sulat natin dito. Okay, sabi ni Gillian is, open muna ng account. Open ng account. Para, oops, who's this? Open ng account, at least 1K pwede, 5K, 25K para. Then, explore your trading platform. Then, after that, ano yung susunod nating mas magandang aralin? Kapag alam mo na yung trading platform. Ah, okay. Ito muna pala. Uh, know the stocks. Unahin nyo yung blue chips. 30 yan. 30 companies. Then, uh, mag-arrive ako sa investment strategy. 
strategy na gagamitin ko. So, maaring long term muna ako, mid term, or mag-observe ako sa mga nag-stock trading. Then, kailangan magkaroon ako ng identity. Identify ko kung may level, yung level of interest ko, interesado ba ako rito, kung kaya ko magbigay ng oras. So, tapos sabi niya pa, uh, right knowledge. Knowledge. Then, uh, practice mo yun. Practice the knowledge. Practice the knowledge to become skilled. Asain nyo yun, sharpen it. Sharpen the knowledge. Sharpen this, what you have. And make it as your skill. Money will follow. If you have the skill. So, journal nyo po ito sa inyong mga notebook or sa computer. The money will surely follow if you have the skill. So, wag nyong i-goal palagi yung ano. Wag, do not target the money. Of course, we all want profit. We all want the money because naging basta ay para kumita. Right? In all honesty. Tama po ba? Do not target the money, but the skill. So, money is an output. Okay? We can have the bad output if the input is wrong, if the input is not right. Money is an output. You can have a good output if the input is Right. Kung tama yung input mo, kung maganda yung input mo, you can have the good output. You can have the best output. Input and output. So, what natin dito? Input and output. Money is an output. It's a result. It's a result of what you are doing behind. Doing behind. Behind the show. <laughs> okay. So, are you all clear? Maliwanag po ba tayo? As in ABC, maliwanag. Kasi gusto ko talaga maliwanag. Pag nag-explain ako, gusto ko kuhang-kuha ng nakikinig sa akin. Kasi mahilig akong magsalita. <laughs> Magpaliwanag. At sana yung paliwanag na yun hindi masayang. Okay. So, open the account, explore, know the stocks, arrive sa investment strategy, observe. Observe. Okay. And please, don't say na mahirap. Don't say na mahirap. Kasi the moment na inisip nyo mahirap, then yung, yun ang itatanim sa isip nyo. Yun ang tatanim sa isip nyo na mahirap. Lahat ng bagay may hirap. Okay, ano ba ba? Okay, kompleto na to. Right? So, anything you, you need to know, you want to know, or medyo hindi nyo naintindihan pa sa sinabi ko, uh, pwede nyo po bang ilagay sa comments. At kung hindi pa po kayo nagsasubscribe sa YouTube channel ko, do subscribe and like this video kung may natutunan po kayo. At kung gusto nyo itong i-share sa mga kaibigan nyo, mas matutuwa po ako. Actually, impromptu lang itong gawa ko. Hindi ko siya ginawa as yung, alam mo yun, yung, uh, edit, yung edited, yung professional editing. Hindi, impromptu lang po to Kasi naisip ko na palaging may nagtatanong sa akin, paano po ba, paano po ba. So, I think, I always do na makapag-explain. So, I think this is uh, good enough to post. Thank you so much and uh, have happy investing. Uh, magbasa tayo ng Traders Empire book and long live Traders Empire. God bless us all.